Hey guys, the Bloon here, and today's another BTD6 video. And today's gonna be the new Flooded Valley on hard with no monkey knowledge. This is that brand new expert map that Ninja Kiwi just released, but with today's strategy, we're gonna turn it into an easy map. Let's jump right in. <laughs> I really like starting off these expert maps because all you have to do is click back a couple times to find the map rather than click through like 20 pages to get where you're going, which is really, really cool. They are harder, but it's more fun and easy to get to them. So kind of crazy. We're going to click hard and then we're going to click standard. And then what we're going to do, guys, we're going to drop a sub right here in this little corner area. And then you're going to turn off auto start if it's not on already. Uh, we are going to lose lives on this. It's not going to be perfect, but I guarantee you'll have no problems. We're only going to lose a few lives here and there. And I think it's going to be like the camo. You might lose one in the beginning here, but just because of the RNG, but it really doesn't matter. And then after our round 24 of eating camo, we're going to have Admiral Brick will take care of it from there. So we're not going to have to worry about it, but you don't need a perfect run for this. It's not blackboard. It's not chimps, nothing like that. So we're just going to kind of take it easy, have some fun with it. We're going to use farms. I'm going to use a banana farmer just because it's easier and I'm lazy. I hope you guys do too, because you're still going to get a good chunk of money from doing this. Let's place a sub right here. So spending 50 bucks on it is in a good investment. So you don't lose on accident or something crazy. Just speeds up the time frame, and you don't have to think about it. Cause sometimes I don't know about you guys, but I'll be messing around with my farms and bananas rather than upgrading when I should have. And it messes up the entire thing. Okay, now that we have three subs, we're good to get Admiral Brickle. So we're going to save up $810. You can turn off auto start now. I just wanted to do it because it's less random. If you just place this sub in the beginning of the round, there's more of a chance you're getting through that next round with more or all of the lives, which is kind of cool. doesn't really matter though. Do what you want to do. Now we're going to do Admiral Brickle for 810. And then from there, we're going to get up to air burst starts. And then we're going to get a sub not a sub, a banana farm. And we're gonna do that whole banana farm thing I used to do in the past where it's like farm, upgrade, farm, tower, farm, tower, farm, upgrade. Like go back and forth between the two because we don't wanna mess up or get too greedy. Because I've done this a few dozen times actually trying to make it as more optimized and as easy for you guys as possible. I keep forgetting that it is an expert map so I can't expect it to be like just a cinch. But at the same time, I'm trying to make it easier and easier. So I kept eating banana farmers because I would get one and then I would lose or get one and be like, oh, that's terrible and restart it. And then it would just keep going from there to where I, I spent probably like 20 banana farmers on this video just because it got a little crazy. So we're going to do ever starts next. And then afterwards, we're going to get our first farm, I hope. And then we're going to eat a camo. Yeah, guys, kind of crazy. And then today, today, guys, I am home alone all day because my wife is hosting or the maid of honor to a bachelorette party for her best friend. And so now they're all at the beach. They like got ready this morning while I was working on this video or this strategy, they were all getting ready and decorating the house because they're going to hold the bachelorette party here. And then they're also going to hold like the night before the wedding here. So it's just getting kind of crazy, but I'm home alone for the whole day. So it's kind of cool. I get to make this video, play some balloons, and I'm going to probably jump over to call of duty because me and Sooners have been playing that a lot lately and just kind of have a crazy day. So I hope you guys are having a crazy Friday too. It is dad hat and to bother to do my hair because I was like, it's Friday, I'm home alone. No hairdo today, guys, just me and this balloons. So now that we got this one, we're going to get our first farm for 1350. And then after that, or I guess before that, really, we can just get prepped for it right here. We'll place him right, right smack in the middle. We're gonna get 1350 on him. And we're gonna get just the first top two upgrades. We might start losing lives here a little bit, but it really doesn't matter. There's no, I didn't even include a pad on this one because you don't need it. You're, you're gonna have more than enough lives to finish this thing off. It's gonna be super simple. We're gonna get this greater production. And after that, now we're going to grab our um, sniper monkey because we do need to take care of those leads. Fortunately, she does. Admiral Brickle has these little spike thingies for 28, but 30 is another question, and we don't want to lose more lives than we need to. We don't want to get crazy with it, so we're just going to place him down right here, and then go to strong, and then go to full metal jacket. And there you go there. All right, so now we're good. We don't need to really buy anything on him. You can buy the camo upgrade if you want. I'm not going to. And now what I'm going to do, hmm, what am I going to do actually? Um, let's get this one up to longer range and then advanced Intel. I can't remember the exact order I did everything to make it the cleanest. So we're just gonna have to wing it, but I think it'll be okay. I think you guys will still have no problem. So we're gonna put this guy right here, put him like right in the middle. You see there's like that one spot and then there's two and then there's the one on the dirt right there. Put him like right in the middle of that. Cause what's gonna happen is once he gets to 1400, so he's utterly useless until you get to the third tier. He can't do anything. But once you get to that 
third tier, he's going to be able to see the track. And then after you get an alchemist and a village, he'll be able to see like all of this area and all of this area, which is very, very, very helpful and very cool. So we're gonna do that way. And the next thing we're kind of prepping for here is round 36, of course, because that one does get a little crazy. So we're gonna get intense magic to help out. We get 325 for that. And then I am going to get another farm or should I get triple guns? What do you guys think? I actually can't decide. I get a little like back and forth on these little situations because I get really greedy. I don't know about you guys, but I try to get as much money as possible. And then I'm like, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. So actually what I am gonna do is I am gonna get triple guns. And so let's see here. I do not have the green screen up. So you might see my dog run through or behind me because he just got scared. He heard like a balloon pop because in their midst of making decorations and stuff, they got a ton of balloons and they've just been popping randomly. So if you hear a pop in the video, that is what that is. It's not a crazy anything going on here. It's just balloons popping and the dog freaks out. Like seriously, just freaks out. Like the other night guys, we had our neighbors on Memorial Day were doing um, fireworks which they're not supposed to, but they're having fun. So they do the fireworks, but my dog, right? The the fluffier black one, he flies up on the bed like a springboard, jumps up on top of it, dives in between me and my wife and just starts shaking. Like it was so bad, his teeth were chattering. We felt so bad, like we felt like he was our son and we like didn't know how to fix him or make him feel better and more safe. So we just held him real tight. We're like, it's okay, buddy, don't worry. And we didn't know what to do. It just felt so bad. Cause this guy, I thought he was gonna have a heart attack by the way he was acting, it was insane. But um, let me try to recoup here what we're doing. So this is 36. We have a 200 alchemist, a 301 uh, mage, and then we have this guy here. We do need to get him up to the 3240 for armor piercing dart. So we're gonna do that before we get our next farm. I was gonna start farming, and get a little greedy, but it'll actually help a lot on 39 to have armor piercing before like winging it last minute to get at the last second. So um, I think we're doing good with these. Okay, so the lead guy's doing good. Wasn't sure about it, how he's gonna react, but he's doing pretty good. We're gonna get this one here. And now what we're going to do is, hmm, let's see. What do I wanna do now? I wanna get another farm, but we have armor piercing. Yeah, I'm gonna get another farm, guys. Let's just do it. I think we're good. I think we're good here, I think. I'm just saying that, I don't actually know. I think I remember, but you are gonna get your finger ready for that first ability on round 40 though. So get that ready, okay? You can even turn off auto start too if you wanna feel a little safer about it and just kinda of get going there. So we'll get increased production and greater production in the meantime. We're gonna be multitasking a little bit here. Just try to get everything as clean as possible. All right, so, okay. Now, as soon as this round starts or a little bit after it, doesn't really matter. You're gonna hit that first ability and what that does is allows Admiral Brickle to make the water towers faster, which is more than enough for this armor piercing because then this guy is gonna help out with his popping power as well. So we're gonna do that. And there you go. Super, super simple. Let's grab another farm. We're gonna get two more farms here, guys. You can turn off auto start if you want or turn it back on. We're gonna get two more farms. And with those, we're gonna just kind of rock those out. I think, yeah, just stick with me, guys. We'll, know, we'll go as long as we go. I just don't remember exact order I would tell you. I just don't remember. So we're gonna get one more farm though for 1350 there we go now you guys can slow down whenever you place farms what i always usually recommend when you're just starting out and stuff because if you don't place them fast enough you could lose you know precious bananas because it's not down there quick enough but it happens all right so now what we're going to do we're going to test everybody out we do need camo on this guy let's help out there 43 uh we might need to use we're gonna lose a couple lives not a big deal i was gonna use an ability i'm like yeah it doesn't matter just losing a few lives not a big deal all right so now what we're going to do is we're gonna jump straight for this 10,800 arcane spike. That's what we're doing. So we're gonna to have to use an ability on 47 because those ceramics are going to overwhelm us for sure and we'll lose more lives than we need to. We should have used it on 43. Again, I was just getting a little greedy. That's what I always do. So we'll see what happens there. Let's grab this arcane spike. I'm going to use an ability. I'll, I'll wait for you guys. I was gonna skip ahead, but then I was like, oh, but then you might not know when to use it on 47. I Meaning generally just use it when the big clusters come and you can't handle it. But just in case, I'll show you guys anyway. See right here, I used it a little too late. So you guys probably should have used it sooner. Still worked out though, not a big deal. All right, let's get this guy to 10,800. And do this, there we go. All right, and now what we're going to do, now that we got him up to there, we're going to get two of these up to banana plantations. I will not use any abilities in between then, so I will skip ahead here. So I'm gonna get this one to a 300 and this one to a 300, no abilities. So I got both these banana farms up. I actually should have used an ability on 48. Um, again, don't remember everything that I did here, but I should have used an ability because what happened was, 
a little bit snuck through. But again, we have such a big pad here of lives, it's not gonna matter. Um, I am getting this guy up to the third tier alchemist right now, and I am gonna jump just straight to the fourth tier as well. I'm maxing him out just to make sure he's clean and good to go and can help us out here. So he's good, he's good, he's good for now. We're gonna get one more up here. So one more to banana plantation. And what we're doing now though, is we're done with that, we're leaving it. And the reason why what we're doing is we're just making sure that we're safe to have enough money by 63 to get our sub commander and this bottom boat here, guys. We'll get him right now, actually. So we'll go this one to the new and improved Bluntonium Reactor, which if you didn't know, if you get the barb darts and the heat tip darts, it actually does more damage to lead. And I think just more damage in general, correct me if I'm wrong, but so that's definitely cool to get the cross path now, which is really awesome. So we're gonna use that one there. And then by 63, we're going to upgrade to the sub commander and I'm going to just let this sit here and farm. And I think I will use an ability on 55, but I will definitely let you know when I use them. All right, so we're back on 59. On 60, I want to show you the cool new ability that this guy has. So this is actually really helpful and really cool. Watch, it just immediately turns it down into a Moab, which is awesome. And then these can be easily taken down by what we got. I am going to turn off auto start for this next round though, because we kind of have to prep for 62. And I actually messed up and didn't get a village. So, um, let me see here. I'm going to actually, hmm, did I almost have it there? How many of how many of you guys struggle with this? Let me know below if you guys struggle every time you go to place a tower when you get a little too tight and you see it there though, but you're like, oh no, what happened? And I swear, okay, right there, right there, boom, okay. So we're gonna go top path on that, that's all we're doing. And what that does is make him faster, but a ton more range, which is really, really cool. So. That paired with the Alchemist makes him super good range and he's super strong, so which is awesome. So now for this one, um, we might have to use our ability because what's gonna happen is at the end, there's gonna be some fortified Moabs that are more than scary. We don't wanna deal with that. And so we're gonna have to kind of watch out here. Um, I think we should be okay though. Um, just use your ability just in case. So use that first ability. We don't wanna have any problems here. And with this guy with his armor piercing darts, he's killing it. And the reason why we didn't just sell everything first, because we had more than enough money, is I wanted to save my money. If I can get and keep more farms, it's cool, it's better for later. So we're gonna sell just this one, and now we have more than enough money to get the sub commander, which is really cool. So we're gonna get that one. We have this nuke sub here. And now we're kind of just good to go, guys. So let's just let this play out. I'm not even gonna use any abilities. We're just gonna let it roll because we have this guy who's buffed super cool, and we have this guy who's just automatically super strong, which is awesome. We're gonna get this one back up to a three zero zero. Um, you can go the middle path too to make it worth more money, which would be helpful, but um, you don't need to, you don't need to. We're pretty much almost done. What we're gonna do now is kind of fun because they've also buffed these towers, guys. So the middle path sub, the ballistic, is now super buffed because of the sub commander. So I think it's something like double the damage or something like that, the ballistic missiles do, which is just outrageously crazy. And if you guys haven't seen, um, Jaja Josh is like one of the best BTD6 players. He just did a video with all these guys on this and the uh, ballistic missiles and they go crazy. And I think he did like a crazy expert map as well on chimps. So definitely check that out. But these guys are just super powerful paired with the new sub commander. So we're gonna rock that out. We'll do advanced intel. I'm gonna put it on strong. I don't know if that's actually gonna be beneficial. I'm assuming it will, because it'll go for the Moabs and the BFBs, which is what we want, so that's pretty cool. And I'm going to get five of these guys. I'm gonna put them in range of both Brickle and the Sub Commander, because I want Brickle to give them that little speed boost if we need to, if you guys plan on taking this to 100 to get that Insta Monkey. We're not doing it on this video, but I think with the amount of farms we have and stuff, you guys can do it. Just add more of these, get the preemptive, because I guess that's been buffed too. Uh, just do what you guys want, but I'm not gonna take it to uh, 100, because that's a little crazy. Let's get this one here, longer range and advanced intel. And then there. And not only that, I just like to collect money. You guys probably do too. So I like to end the game with like 50 grand just because it feels good. You're like, wow, I did that. And I had a lot of extra money, which is really, really cool. We got barb darts, heat tip darts, and ballistic missile. And I did this with only five. You guys can add as many as you want just to be safe. You can get an energizer, get whatever you want. Cause we're gonna have more than enough time and more than enough money left over, which is kind of cool. Let's get this one last one right here. And like I said, this will get you through it. This will knock you right through 80, no problems, no worries. You can use abilities on 76 and 78 if you feel like you need to, but you're not gonna have to. Turn auto start back on. And we're gonna get a ton of money in that meantime too, just because we have those three farms rocking still. So we got that right there. 
now the choice is yours guys what do you guys want to do do you want to get um you can get your sniper up you can get your energizer up you can get this guy to an archmage which just ends the game completely and these are worth four grand each which puts you at 12 grand so all you're going to need is what is that twenty two thousand dollars and you have enough for an archmage you can save that up probably by around 78 or something like that or you could probably sell these ballistics and go with the archmage i just really wanted to use the new cool stuff and the fact that he buffs this new hero buffs them is really cool buffs water towers and then the sub commander buffs the new ballistics and it's just a good little matchup here which is really really cool so that's pretty much it let's just see what happens with this i'm going to skip ahead into like 78 79 so you guys can see these things work in action Oh, and don't forget, if you haven't already, definitely hit that like button. If you like what you're watching, consider subscribing if you're new because it does help out the channel. And then follow on Twitch because I live stream balloons every Wednesday and Sunday. And then I stream just a variety of random games like I was playing Minecraft Dungeons, things like that. So if you guys are interested in the live viewer, just gets a little crazy and raw and unedited. Definitely check it out there on Twitch. Um, we're coming up to 78 here pretty quick. I hope you guys are liking these towers because they're rocking it. So you have so many options. Like I said, you can get an Archmage for 80. You can just leave it as is. You don't even have to use any abilities and 80 is nothing. This thing right here on 80 kills it, which is really cool. And then you can also get a first strike capability. There's just so many options. So hard is not that hard if you prep right. But what's crazy is, is you think, oh, well, the chimp shouldn't be that bad. But well, you don't have tons of money flowing in like with these guys. This one's made eight. This one's made 10. And this one's made 10. And we get to sell them. So we made a ton of money with these guys, which is just really, really cool. So again, Archmage, what do we want to do, though? Let's get this guy. Let's get the new Energizer and just show how cool he is. Or should we get Preemptive Strike? There's so many options here. I don't even know, guys. But I'm going to get the Archmage just because I love him and he's cool. So we're going to get that one right there. And now it's just murder over. And then I just want to show you really cool on 82 as well. So I'm going to turn off auto start here and show you how this new bomb works, which is very, very cool. It actually does a lot of damage to the bad too. And this guy's high enough level, which is really cool. So just all around cool stuff, guys. Hope you guys are digging it. Let's see right here. Almost done. But look at these ballistics go, right? Like, so this is a fortified BFB, right? And they're just destroying it. They're just taking it down to nothing real quick. And that is so cool. So I'm actually going to show you two different ways, two different ways. So one is the bomb. I want to show you guys that. Let's just get rid of this guy. We don't need him anymore. I'm going to show you one with the bomb and then I'm going to click home real quick and show you the one with just the ballistics, which is kind of cool. So you can do this right here, place it right there. And then what it'll do is suck that down to a BFB. There you go. And now the ballistics are going to tear it down and right before it restarts there we go we're gonna make that so let's go back home all right now this time same thing but we're gonna remove this guy and we're not gonna use that second ability we're not even gonna use the first ability and you're just gonna watch these ballistics take this thing down i actually, I actually haven't tested this so i hope it works but it looks like it will like it's getting pretty crazy right i mean we do have the ability if we need to the first one i think we can take this yeah look at that go look at that go can we do it can we do it can we do it Yes, I was getting a little nervous there, not gonna lie, but it did it. So that was with no abilities. We got rid of the mage. So just the sub commander with those five little ballistic missiles are going crazy. So I would love to see this on chimps. You guys should definitely try it out sub commander and those ballistics, just put a ton of them, see what happens, go crazy with it, it'll be kind of fun. And then also if you use like the, I saw Basho Chalupa already beat it on chimps or he's about to beat it. And he used the new aircraft carrier because you know, you guys can put like land towers on him. So he put an ice and then alchemist, things like that. And just made these things super crazy strong, which is really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys like what you're watching. If you did definitely leave that like below and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully I think Monday will be probably that new bizarre on chimps or sometimes next week will be bizarre on chimps. And then hopefully we can knock off this new expert on chimps, which would be really, really cool. I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.